here. Cool. We should be coming in live. We're hosting action for Assange. So let's see if that's kicked in. It has, it has. Awesome. Hi everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another comic book reading Halloween special part two. We're going to read a horror comic book from the golden age of comics that we decided on. Eduardo, how are you doing? Speedy Gonzalez, you're in. Awesome, gang. Uh, today is October 31st, 2020, Halloween in Canada, United States, Europe, I believe as well. Um, well, it's Halloween everywhere, I guess, right? Uh, and this holiday is um, different cultures uh, have a version of this holiday in. Uh, in Iran, uh, they call it to a certain degree where you put, all you do, you sort of dress up as a ghost. It's not really ghosts. It's sort of when we did as a kid, you put a sheet, everybody just wears sheets over their heads and they go around and they bang uh, spoons on a pot or utensil on a pot. And then people come out and they give you candies and you collect candies. So it sort of exists in different versions in different parts of the world. Uh, so here it's very you know taken from the pagan uh rituals cheryl how are you doing hope you're doing well <laughs> looking forward to these readings uh, the horror by the way let me let me do a little correction from yesterday right we read this one web of mystery yesterday right and i looked back here and i said oh this is i graded this as 2.0 to 2.5 to 3 and small piece missing from the cover i'm like yeah no kidding and then i realized that this one and this one that have a strike over the description of what's here are actually the mylars for a couple of other golden age comics that i had so i crossed them out because these weren't the descriptions or the grade of these ones so i'm going to do a little correction on this and this was uh, when we did the reading for Web of Mystery yesterday. Uh, this thing, the cover is detached, both the front and back cover is detached. The comic is in whole, whole condition. Uh, the pages are nice, right? It's it's not white pages, it's off white. It's, uh, you know, browning pages and whatnot and just chipping on it and stuff. Um, but I just want to write the description here because that way I won't forget. So I would grade this. Uh, 1.5 to 1.8 you know good fair good uh, good minus and uh, covers detached covers the touched okay that way i know so i better cross this off more legit uh, that way i don't make the same mistake again first blood elder god how are you doing hope you're doing well hope the thing you went well but politics on politics streams, right? So this was a great read. This was a fantastic read we did yesterday. Really, I loved it. Uh, these Golden Age comics, all these Golden Age comics, because they tell what's what how, what's really going on with modern age comics. Modern age comics now tell a series of stories. Uh, I'm still in Birmingham. You're still in Birmingham, Chinatown. They tell a long story. Some of the stories that they tell, you know, they take three comic books, four comics, six, 12 comic books. There's stories being told that are taking like 30, 30 issues to tell. A lot of the golden age comics, they were standalone stories. So it's really beautiful just reading standalone stories. Uh, and they're deep, right? Gina, how are you doing? Gina Ichicho and Chad, happy Halloween, happy Halloween. What are people dressing up as? Good day, Rafa live, how are you doing? right so it was really nice just reading a complete story and yesterday um, I guess we decided we're gonna read tales of horror that was uh, tales of mystery or web of mystery number 10 this is tales of horror number 10 and this is 1954 unless people want to read something else uh, but uh, I pretty much have my heart set on this now after reading that one <laughs> The Golden Age books I love. Uh, I should just, you know, just, there's so many comic books coming out. I buy both gold, silver, bronze. I buy all ages, right? Uh, but I should just spend my time just buying Golden Age comics just for a year, just to build up the Golden Age comic book collection um, because they're brilliant. And I obviously I have more modern age than Golden Age. 
Uh, well, it's not obvious. Some people collect, you know, they got all golden age, right? Uh, but it is sweet. It is sweet getting these things um, and having a read through history and the types of stories that were being told, right? Aside from that, while well, wait for people to roll in, let me, get, let me tell you guys what this is all about. I am on I am on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to support this work, Patreon is a great way to do so. I don't put anything about paywalls. Everything's Creative Commons. Share and share alike. And for those of you who've been supporting this work through Patreon, thank you very much for the support. It is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this. We are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash chicho live. C H Y C H O L I V E. If you want to participate in these live streams, you want to be a Twitch. Okay. And for those of you who are following, who are subscribing, who've been participating, coming on to these live streams, thank you very much for uh, the support and mods as as always thank you for taking care of business elder god just discord so far no there is a twitch notification there is a twitch notification okay cool 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 we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on lo minds vk part of gap and twitter and you can follow the work there all the links will be in the description of this video and we do have a discord page uh, as I was writing okay awesome so twitch has gone out too we're gonna to get into the reading pretty speedy Gonzalez uh, because yesterday's uh, live stream we looked at a lot of covers we looked at I pulled out a whole bunch of horror comic books we looked at a whole bunch of covers and uh, you know we're two hours and 20 minutes in by the way I released that video uh, this morning just before this right an hour ago or so uh, so we went way past the two-hour mark uh, so we didn't get a chance to read the last seven page story for web of mystery i'd like to make sure we finish this book okay too slow yesterday too slow yesterday to get to the reading but we looked at some amazing covers and talked some comic books right so that's great starsky how are you doing it's been a long day has it been a long day my day well i get up early so it's late morning for me how's it going you doing good starsky looking forward to today um I, it's just it's been nice and sunny I'm gonna go for a walk after this I haven't done a walk for a while I've been really busy and I mentioned I might do a comic book reading tomorrow I don't know we're like 10% probably I'll do a comic book reading tomorrow I gotta take care of the the garden that we have our patio the leaves have fallen down there's a lot of work to be done and I've been neglecting everything I'm focusing on live streams and stuff I'm doing good I like busy uh, busy keeps me happy I was in Pram was awesome. I was up from 3 a.m. You've been up through 3 a.m. Damn, Starsky. And you're West Coast? No, you're East Coast, right? So you're almost uh, at 12 hours. I believe you're East Coast. I was raining all day down south. Oh, you're uh, Starsky, you're UK as well. Slick Mick, I had college from uh 9 a.m to 6 p.m my time today trying to catch up um it was ridiculous haven't caught a stream in a while but glad to be back awesome slick mick nice to have you man nice to have you oh yeah okay starsky yeah there's a lot of stuff going on in the uk yeah don't let it get you down man don't let it get you down this is just a phase that's passing through and it's a necessary phase for us to go through it's growing pains right as a society we need to go through some of this pain uh, in the West anyway because uh, because we've let some horrors get a hold of our societies and we need to purge that I will be listening to Boris and to, okay that's probably for live streams when we don't have any visuals we do right now we're gonna be uploading to the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho and um, those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform as well okay and this video will be uploaded to both BitChute and YouTube okay and uh, if you want to support this work on those platforms you can follow you can like you can share and uh, if you're on youtube you can join youtube membership somewhere down here there's a button and thank you very much for the support if you are joining youtube membership gang 
Should we do a reading? Should we do a reading? Nice. This is a beautiful cover. I'm going to take these guys down. Let me take these guys down. Nice and chill. <laughs> Not yet anyway. Look. Probably more restrictions. Yeah, man, there's a lot of politic discussion all over the place, right? We'll see what happens in about a month. Uh, beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Should we do X? How are you doing? What time is it? Let's check it out. We're 10 minutes in. Let's do the intro. Let's do the readings. I'm going to take down our, uh, and it's going to be quiet, gang. Uh, even uh, like when I loaded up the video, the reading we did yesterday on uh, the web of mystery number 10, I let it loose this morning, both on BitChute and YouTube. Uh, Lonely Piggy, how are you doing? What's up? Uh, when I let it loose on YouTube and BitChute, on YouTube, YouTube we have like 32,000 subscribers, right? Uh, on BitChute, we have 257. In the first hour, we had the same number of views on the BitChute video as we did the YouTube video. So I'm assuming this weekend is a quiet weekend, right? And YouTube sensors and filters are kicking in hard and, uh, and whatever it is, right? Uh, so... Uh, it's a quiet weekend so I don't think there's gonna to be too many people uh, coming on to the live stream everyone's busy and there's a lot of chaos going on uh, so we're gonna have a nice quiet read YouTube it's nice yes Boris is forecasting the weather I see a storm on tier 10 <laughs> gang I'm gonna take down our notifications okay and I'll give you guys the intro to the comic I'm gonna take down the chat I'll be back after the stream, after the reading. Okay, and I'm gonna take down uh, my video, my the top video here. Let's take this baby down. Oh, the uh, censorship, man. Interesting. Yeah, uh, Greenwald are like gang. I, I've been following Greenwald, Glenn Greenwald, when he first hit the scene, like in mid 2000s really start coming out and dealing with some of the issues that we have i like the guy he's creating a new platform uh, might as well deal with it he's creating a new platform for honest independent uncensored journalism that is exactly what we need right we need more of that so things are shifting there's lots of positives going on lots of positives going on right fantastic time since the last one okay gang boop See you guys after the after the reading. <clears throat> Hi everyone. This is Cho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another comic book reading sort of our Halloween special number two and today is uh, when we're doing this recording is October 31st 2020 uh, doing the live stream and uh, yesterday we read web of, web of mystery number 10 from 1951 I believe it was a horror book a horror mystery book and it was fantastic great read and uh, during that live stream we decided that we were going to read Tales of Horror number 10 from 1954 today. Uh, two comic book readings uh, sort of back to back in honor of Halloween. Okay, And this comic book, let me tell you who the creators of this comic book are. This is from uh, Toby Press. Okay. And uh, Man Quinn AC. It doesn't say Toby Press here, but it's got the, you know, the bat <laughs> here showing it right it says tales of terror terror and this guy i'm not sure what it says i'm going to take it out of the mylar so we lose the glare on this thing but the artists for this are the cover is ben brown and the inks is david Natz. okay and ben brown and david Natz have done the pencils and the inks for all the stories except the last story in this and the last story is george olison that uh 
did the artwork for this okay and uh, this is a sought-after series this is a sought-after series okay and uh, the tales of terror they put out an omnibus of I'm not sure if it's the complete stories or if a few of the stories the, and the cover they use for the omnibus that I saw is actually this cover tales of terror number 10 now let me take this out and the one thing I did was on yesterday's stream uh, we have that we have that comic book in uh, my lauder as well let me grab it so we have this we did the reading for this uh, in yesterday's uh, comic book stream and both of these I have in my lauder. I had written down descriptions but I had crossed them out now after we read this reading I realized the description the grade wasn't consistent with this so this thing back here was the grade that I had on a previous comic book that was in here so basically I regraded this thing that way I know what it is it's 1.5 to 1.8 and the covers are detached for the web of mystery number 10 but the comic book is in is in pretty good condition so we read the whole thing okay and this one it says it's 2.5 to 3 foreign spine spells and stuff but this is the wrong description so we'll figure out what the grade uh for this is when we crack it open and uh, i'm pretty sure it's like a two um, i think the covers are still attached if i'm not mistaken but we'll find out mylar glad grabs onto the tape so let's crack this open out check it out yeah I would grade this at 2 2.5 maybe it's pretty uh, it definitely has a tear so I would yeah I would grade this as a 2 2.5 the covers are attached which is fantastic and the pages are brown browning or brown okay and uh, there isn't any huge chunks missing you know it's got the usual wear and tear of a two a comic book graded at two 2.5 but i like it that the covers are still attached and you know take a look right yeah i would give this a 2.5 maybe even Beautiful cover. ANC. I'm not sure what the ANC stands for. ANC. And we have another. Let's see if this will be able to read it, pick it up. It's not able to. It's too. Minnow, Minnow and Magazine. Minnow and Ma Min Oh, it's like miniature. Look at that. Cows uh, with the horns on it, right? In Minnow, Minnow and Magazine. That's cool. Tales of Terror. Very nice. Very cool. And uh, the the cover for this was uh, let me bring it up again it was um, Ben Brown and David Natz did the cover for this right beautiful let's have a read through this let's take a look what this is all about we'll try to be gentle with this What are the advertisements we got? Start a fine business in, uh, in spare time. Run the best shoe store business in your town. Right. It's interesting. There was a, we've seen a fair bit of ads from the golden age of comics for shoes. You don't invest a cent, everything uh, furnished free. So they send you the product and they want you to sell it why not 1954 right 
over 150 fast selling styles for men and women don't delay send for free outfit what about important now you can fly a real jet plane US Air Force Jetex F-102 what is this it's a paper uh, paper jet right cut out that's definitely you can see it's a cutout right or model anyway the way they've drawn it special offer if bought in the store jet jetex number 50 engine would cost the uh, dollar 95 the jetex f 102 95 cents a total cost of two dollars and 90 cents rush the coupon and you get both the jetx f102 and the jetx number 50 jet engine for only dollar 99 plus postage and handling charges cash on delivery cod includes fuel supply <laughs> includes fuel supply they'll save the fuel as well ballast wood so this is the jet engine that they're selling check it out little jet engines amazing jacks number 50 jet engine the world's smallest jet engine and the most powerful engine of its size ever sold operates at a jet exhaust speed of 800 miles per hour runs on solid fuel start every time completely reliable no moving parts to break or wear out can be used to power model airplanes racing cars and boats what no moving parts i wonder uh, how legit these were right i wonder how legit these things were here's the web of mystery where's our fine print oh here's our fine print let's read our fine print gang we gotta have uh, I read through these fine prints tales of horror number 10 april 1954 published bi-monthly by toby press incorporated 17 east 45th street new york 17 new york mal lazarus art director benton j resnick general manager application for entry as second class matter is pending single copies 10 cents subscription rate 10 issues for one dollar in the united states and um and possessions and possessions united states possessions wow elsewhere dollar 50 copyrighted 1954 by toby press incorporated the stories names characters and incidents and institutions mentioned or portrayed in this periodical ex uh, accepting those who have authorized the use of their names herein are entirely imaginary and fictitious and no identification with actual persons living or dead is intended or should be inferred printed in the united states uh the one thing uh interesting with this is i don't think we've ever read this little disclaimer uh por you know the characters portrayed in this periodical comma except those who have authorized the use of their uh, names herein so i don't think we've ever read that little part uh, for for the fine print for the intros to these things maybe that's one thing that ace uh, publications or toby press was doing ace was web of mystery here's uh the papers bent over so i'm gonna open it up sometimes there's a no-no doing this but i'm gonna open that up okay nice beautiful we're gonna just start reading it right away gang let's get into the reading and i believe this comic is complete i hope so anyway 
I hope so anyway. The first story. And this is signed as well, Brown and Nats. Purple Claw Mystery. They could call it the Valley of Horror. I, a name it, deserved by the number of victims mysteriously slain in its croggy canyon. Craggy canyon. Then came the Purple Claw to test this blood chilling reputation, only to be trapped herself, himself by the deadly spider of the web. Cool. The purple claw, inspiring, inspiring symbol of man's struggle against the power of supernatural evil given to dr jonathan ween weir by a grateful african witch doctor for stopping an, an epidemic that threatened to wipe out his congo village its strange powers to combat the horrors of the beyond were never tested more solely than when i when it stood between dr weir and the blood curling threat of the web of horror the valley of horror is no true valley but the size of a craggy range system in the italian alps famed for his climbing trails all right enzo it's safe to ascend he says oh, look at the huge spider oh it's just whistling this tourist must be a stranger to the valley of horror for he whistles to himself as he walks along happy not a thought in his head of disaster or horror suddenly the pass is blocked gas blocked but not with rock or stone or timber but with silk silk so strong it cannot be ripped silk too tightly woven no air penetrates his fabric I, I can't breathe i can't rip the web i'm trapped help help the voice is muffled within the gasimir thin G gasimir thin webbing but no help arrives on the contrary gasping for breath and weakened by his frenzied struggle to free himself the man is is no match for the triumphant beast who closes in for the kill by the time his friends reach the scene isn't that italo hanging in that spider web 
What could have happened? They said. Look, black widow spiders. Let, let's get out of here. Oh, those are all little spiders running towards them. Oh, jeez, they're being overrun. We can't. They're all around us, Enzo. They're all over us. Kill them. Their bite is death. Kill them. Oh, these guys are screwed. Oh, man, these guys are in trouble. Right away. Oh, what a way to go. Yikes, no mercy. It's no use. There are gasp Enzo. I can't keep them off. I oh look at this. Spiders all over him. Yikes. As the dying man draws his last, last shuddering breath, a monstrous shape appears on the grag above. A smile of amusement hovers around his atrocious maw. A gleam of triumph shines in his eyes. That evening, as a donkey cart climbs slowly along a road along a valley road how far are we from the hotel now another two miles senor i have taken the long route the webs have not yet appeared on this path webs driver what webs webs of horror senor webs of destruction and death large enough to catch men and kill them as if they were flies webs that must be spun by the devil himself so that's why my friend italo asked me to meet him here he said he thinks there's something supernatural about this valley supernatural what could it be probably something connected with these webs italo is a scientist who usually laughed at the occult he believes the supernatural is just primitive folklore or peasant superstition but he is wrong i have seen these webs with my own eyes and what they have done may a merciful providence spare us from their devil's work i agree with you friend i do not uh, scuff at mystery mystery mysteries science cannot explain perhaps italo has changed his mind oh, i think italo's dead look out the donkey is caught in something oh the donkey's caught in the web it's the web we're trapped in the web the guy says men have said that victims struggled until they they are exhausted and can no longer fight the doom that came upon them they're right this is no ordinary spider's webbing. It shuts out the air. Its webbing is like steel. We are doomed. 
will never get out, she says. No, by her own power, no. But I've got something to combat supernatural devilry. My purple claw. Oh, this guy carries the purple claw. Five thousand years of man's terror of the unknown is wrapped up in this gauntlet. All the power of witchcraft, of secret incantations, is concentrated in its mystic fabric. do its work as it's always done purple claw destroy this web destroy it and let us escape from it it's ripping the web to shreds she says we're passing through we are safe broke the webbing apart this I have never seen before the guy says are there other such gloves that one may be protected against the powers of the devil unfortunately this is the only object of its kind in the world I wish Italo had been here he would not so easily scuff at the supernatural. least of all that web how does it get get here who spins it no spider in e existence can weave one one that large i do not know the answer i only know this is my last trip through the valley of horror without your purple claw my wife would be lighting candles to my memory later at the hotel your friend went out with two companions they should have returned hours ago we fear the worst senor i speak not 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 of rock slides or falls i know the web give me some torches and a guide i'll try to uh, and i'll try to find him An hour later in a canyon pass, dead, both of them, their horrible sight, each must have bitten a thousand times by black widow spiders. Look what lies ahead. Look what lies ahead. Italo caught in the web. He is dead, Signor, like the others. His blood must be completely sucked, sucked out of his body. That night at the hotel, investigation is useless, Signor. 
the police cannot fight crimes that we see. the police can fight cr 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 criminals that we see but how can we fight the unknown speaking of fights did dr talo uh, chiasi make any enemies here he asks Well, I hesitate to say that, Baron. Baron Latro became Dr. Ch Chiazzi's enemy, but the two of them did fight last night over the Countess Aracini, over Countess Aracini, when she invited the doctor to her castle this afternoon. That's where they say he was going when he was trapped by the web. Countess Arachni. Later, when they're when Weir Weir begins to talk to the Baron, I understand that you are third cousin to the Countess Arachni. Arachni, that you love her and insanely jealous of her. Is this true? Ah, Arachne. That's what it is. Countess Arachne. Someone on the live stream is correcting me. Thank you, Midstorm. Arachne. That's what it is. Aha. The mystery. Who are you to ask me personal questions? I have heard doc Dr. Chiasi is dead. Serves him right for daring to walk through the valley of horror. Sachasi was a fool. I warned him about the su uh, superstitions that black widow spiders abound in the region that many men died mysteriously in giant webs he laughed at me you fought with him over the countess you were heard threatening him he says what if i did what does that prove i've had enough of your stupid questioning let me pass not till you give me a minute minute by minute account of your whereabouts this afternoon he asks you will let me pass or i'll kill you crack sock crack serious punching the word kill comes too naturally to your lips lateral I thought that Dr. Sichiasi invited me here for a simple holiday mountain climbing. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe he was looking for something you didn't want him to find. Whack. Man, he's just pounding the guy. Don't be a fool, lateral. Drop that knife. Who's this? You will die for this, he says. Oh, this must be the Countess Arachne. You are so vicious that people will think you're guilty of something. Countess. Smack. Kicks her. She kicks him. Countess, huh? The Baron has reason to be jealous. Haha. <laughs> ha. 
an interesting knife baron it has a spider crest on it naturally the countess says the baron is a member of the arachne family arachne means spider haha uh -huh. wow she's like heavy smoker look at the puff I carry the spider crest on everything I wear or use. My, my compact, my cigarette case, my clothing. You must visit me at the castle. You will see the crest on everything, she says. Thank you, I expect, accept your invitation, he says. Let's hope you have more luck than that unfortunate doctor Sichassi, I heard about his dreadful, dreadful accident. Terrible, isn't it? She says. From the spider's point of view, no. From my point of view, I shall not rest till I have vengeance for his murder. Whoa. Vengeance, she asked. You speak as if as if human beings not spiders are responsible for these deaths only human only humans murder not animals beasts exist my countess who are neither animal nor human like human they kill not for game as the jungle beast does but for evil suddenly help those birds they attack me she says i never seen anything like this these mountain birds never attack human beings wonders they're gone how how strange it's as if you were their natural prey if i were a spider i could understand but look at me she says why should a bird think i was fair game animals have a in, have instincts far deeper than man's as you say countess it's a mystery he says the following morning as dr weir took the path to castle arachne strange strange people those arachnes they traced their lineage back to medieval ages the age of witchcraft even took their family name for the spider that infested the valley Spider's web. those medieval families were just as superstitious as savages they had animals animal fetishes some worship unicorns some cro crocodile and snakes the arachne must have developed a spider called that gasp of web he's trapped i can't breathe the purple claw it's you it's use it I use it as I did yesterday gasp it's gone I've lost the purple claw a minute passes a ghastly suffocating minute Weir collapses gasping for breath it's the end I'm trapped I'll never get out Ugh. the monster approaches his prey 
but as he does Latro, you stupid je your stupid jealousies have interfered with my plans for the last time you've killed every man who looked at me the countess says oh she attacks the spider i'm getting rid of you once and for all die Latro, die no no uh... that's it latro change upon a death the monster is transferred back into the man weir will awaken to find your corpse but he will never solve its mystery that shall be our secret eh, latro like the little spider I have waited long for the embrace of a man this time I shall not be cheated by a jealous fool who imagines he is in love with me I am a woman I shall love like a woman she says but when Weir comes to Latro dead stabbed to death but who killed him who slashed the web who gasped the compact there's a spider chest on it a half hour later in the upper chambers of the arachne castle at last the countess arachne has who dwells alone in the stone prison has a guest a handsome guest she says your compact countess i found it beside the corpse of latro i'll exchange it for something of mine she says or he says i bet you i know what it is right. and there's the the compact the little box i guess purple claw you stole it from me when I protect when I protected you from the birds there was only one way you could appreciate its value its magic you saw it destroy a web of the on the road leading to the hotel yes I saw what it did without the claw you're defenseless I'll, I'm tossing it into the into the moat into the moat she's got it right there in her hand too look at that i have brought you here to taste my embrace weir now you fool since you know so much you shall taste my venom she's spinning a web around me like a spider look at that comes from her hand like a spider I am a spider I can transform myself into one at will spider size or su giant size like this I've got to get the purple claw he says or thinks look at that where is that purple oh she threw it out already oh she was hanging it. look at that she was hanging it out the window that's what that is right and that's where it is it fell into the moat brethren spiders i summon you slay that man slay him it's floating on the surface of the moat oh she jumps he puts it on speedy gonzalez uh, quickly bobbing out from under the web dr weir dons his claw it's her or me i'll zap zap the thread 
Yes. Now to destroy those black widow spiders, every one of them. So it's just electrocuting them, I guess. Zapping them. The purple claw is killing all of them. Good riddance. Heaven knows how many men they've destroyed. Look at that. It's frying them up. But as Weir rose dripping wet from the moat, he saw a dead he saw a dead woman, beautiful beyond description, floating in the water. Like everything evil, she is beautiful only in death. Now she will remain changeless eternally. And peace can come at last to the valley of horror, thanks to the purple claw. Cool. They're both from the same family. Someone on the, on the live stream was mentioning, I found it funny. Uh, when he first uses the purple claw, check this out. It's on his left hand. Someone pointed out it's a left hander, and then it switches to the right hand. <laughs> and it's a right hander, and then it goes to the left hand again. It's a left hander, right? And then someone mentioned that it was a uh, magical claw, so it switches. So it was funny. When was that? Uh, what on what hand was it when he used it here? Over here is on his right one right right hand right hand and right hand cool cool happy halloween everyone happy halloween this is the purple claw again a purple claw mystery another purple claw interesting is there anything regarding a purple claw here this looks like uh it's the same guy right this uh, weird guy right there does he have the white hair up top no I don't see the white hair right maybe could be right. maybe maybe and the cover is purple so maybe this is related to the purple claw we don't know should we read the next story let's read the next story The purple claw mystery the killer in the snow right and again brown and nats signed okay looks like a nice little social gathering oh look at the back look at the window there's a monster there look at that let's see if this book is this oh there's a monster outside looking in that's cool let's do a little reading the killer in the snow as best man I give you the bride and bridegroom Don and uh, Pita Elkins these two guys And as maid of honor, I say, may they, when they have, they have more years of uh, championship skiing. <laughs> but she's talking, so it must be him and her, maybe. Dr. Jonathan Weir, a guest at the weekend skiing party for Don and Peter, Peter, Peter Elkins discovered that only the magic power of the purple claw was a match against the white mur against the white murder of the killer against the white murder of the killer in the snow white murder of the killer in the snow that horrible face in the window so she sees it right. 
It's her that sees the face. You must have been mistaken, uh, Preta. There's nothing here, but I saw something like a huge snowman staring at us. Look at that. Even that looks like a face now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it won't be. That's too big. Preta, darling. A staring snowman? Really? You're just too to love happy to know what you're saying she says you must believe me i saw it she says i wonder what preta did see seeing a little bit of uh, melted snow on the on the porch this guy's like a detective acts like a detective i believe you preta I think you did see something. Oh, thank you, Dr. Weir. It was a snowman, just like the one Peter made before he died. The memories of her first husband, Peter uh, Pally, was too much for Preta. She burst into a storm of tears that quickly brought Dawn to her side. Preta and I should never have come here, Dr. Weir. It brings back too many bitter thoughts. You see, it was here in, the, in these very mountains that we saw Peter fall to his death. Fred, do you realize that outside of Dr. Weir, everyone in this room was here the weekend that Peter died? You're right, Ag Agnes, except that nobody but Don and Preta really saw Peter fall. Ooh, ooh, the wind blows in. Dr. Weir, I'm plenty scared. Where did this wind come from? There wasn't a breath of air stirring a few minutes ago. Unless I'm sadly mistaken, there will be work for the Purple Claw before the night is over, he thinks. I'm leaving now while the leaving is good in the rest if the rest of you had any brains you'd come along you're talking like a full Fred Grady he's out of here better a lie fool than a dead husband Don I'll get somebody from town to return these skis in the morning so long he's out of there it so Fred would rather be a live fool than a dead husband maybe he's got a point there Don if you think so why not join him Angus Agnes wow the husband's taken off he left the wife crazy look there it is again it's Preta Snowman, and he's after Fred. Look at him go. Let he catch up to him. Oh, yeah. No, no, help. Bang. Just nails him.
He's dead, stabbed through the heart with an icicle, a dagger of ice. Oh, there it is. There's a dagger of ice sticking out. Ouch. Who was this guy? Was there? How many people were in this room? Oh yeah, there was three guys. It was this guy that took off, right? So that's the husband. The husband didn't take off. One of their friends took off. I have to check this out, right? That's the guy. So this guy just got taken out right there. Fred was right. We must leave now together. That that killer in the snow won't take won't take after us, after all of us. Later. This is all wrong, Preta. There's too much danger. I only hope I can save you all from your own folly. Maybe I am wrong, Dr. Weir. But I think it would be a greater folly to stay. Oh, it looks like they all got skis on. They got the ski poles, right? Look at that. They got ski poles and torches. Be careful. One misstep here and we all can be buried in thousands of tons of snow. Skiing down with torches. There is the snowman. Look, it's Peter. Come back to haunt us, to punish us. That's the wife saying that, or the husband. I'm pretty sure it's the wife. The blonde hair is the husband, guys, in the front. Whoosh. Oh, he's burying him with an avalanche. Crown. Oh, they're all like snowed. They can't escape. There's no escape. He's going to kill us. Kill us all, she says. If there is no escape, then there's only one thing to do. That's for us to get him first, Weir says. Back at the lodge. Dawn, Dawn. I'm so afraid. Don't go far away, please. We won't, Preta. But we must track down and destroy that snow killer. You can stay here alone and wait for the snowman to finish us off one by one, Preta. But not me. I'm not going to let those two men out, out of my sight, she says. Oh, oh, no, Agnes, look out. Man, everyone's being separated, crazy. Oh, he looks back, sees what's going on. Wasn't that Preta crying out? Something has happened. It sure has. Look down there, come on. The snowman's got Greta. Let me go. Oh, let me go. Help, help. She cries out. Oh, look at all the snow on her. She's frozen. Agnes, Agnes, are you right? Why don't you answer? You'll find out soon enough, Don. Oh, she is frozen. Look at that. Is she? She's dead. Frozen solid. Oh, what a way to go. Fresta, 
dagger of ice now. Fresh that dagger of ice. Now this, the snowman kills with his own element. Oh, Fresta, a dagger of ice. That was the guy that died before. Oh, first, a dagger of ice, not Fresta. First, a dagger of ice. Now this, the snowman kills with his own elements. I shall go out alone and meet the snowman face to face. Weird things. Either he or the purple claw shall win. And the purple claw now is on the left hand. It's no use, Dr. Weir. We're doomed. Only Peter stood between Dawn and me, Dr. Weir. So we killed him. It was so easy. We pushed him over the side of the cliff and left them to freeze to death. Agnes, Fred, the others knew or guessed, but did nothing about it. To condone murder, Preta, is practically as bad as committing it, Weir says. So that's what happened. They killed uh, her ex-husband so she could be with this new guy. And everybody knew it except uh, Weir. My, oh my. You're talking too much, Preta. We don't need any purple claw to help us. Not as long as we've got a gun. Yes, yes, Don. You're right. Let's go now and never come back to this horrible place. If you know what is good for you, Dr. Weir, you'll forget all you've heard or seen tonight. Don Preta, don't go. See your, see, don't you see your skiing in, you're skiing to your doom. Don't go. He's warning them, right? Don Preta, don't you see your skiing to your doom? Don't go, Weir says. If I can only save them from themselves for the evil they did, they must be punished, but not by the killer in the snow. He's skiing after them and the killer, the snowman is chasing after them, right? So there they are skiing down. The snowman is right behind them and Weir is chasing, chasing right behind as well. Dawn. This is the same place we pushed Peter. I know, and so does that thing, uh, thing in back of us. Oh, the snowman's chasing up. Save us, help. Oh, they fall. Serves them right, really. I'm not afraid of you. You're only a creature of ice and snow, and the purple claw will burn and sear you, turning you back to water, he says. In a flash of purple flame, the snowman vanishes forever. Now Peter Pally's revenge is complete. Preta, his wife, and Dawn, his best friend, both whom betrayed him, are within with him now for eternity in a tomb of ice. The end. Murder mystery. Murder mystery. What were the uh, advertisements here that they were showing? What are these? Complete birdhouse with bird care 
uh, station only, right? And bill bird care station only one dollar. Call the beautiful wild birds to you and make pets of them. save $100 quickly and easily with this automatic date and amount bank oh it shows you it's like a piggy bank but it has a you can sum it all up 25 cents a day keeps calendar up to date also total amount saved haha <laughs> So I guess Mon means Monday, and then that would be the date, and that's how much money there is, right? So it's got a counter for whenever you put a quarter in. That's cool. We haven't seen a piggy bank like that yet. That's like high tech for 1954 maybe, right? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And a whole bunch of classified tricks magic novelties well for halloween let's read this classified tricks magic novelties catalog 3200 novelties jokers tricks fun makers magic uh, gadgets time savers hobbies models guns sporting goods jewelry camera optical goods etc send 10 cents to johnson smith company department 712 Detroit 7 Michigan easy to play Pan American band instruments cool let's go to the next story what do we got what do we got purple claw again look at that the purple claw fun I wonder if uh, all of the this series tales of horror was uh purple claw related i don't know let's check it out let's check it out we'll be careful with this we don't want to tear that part out so purple claw story the third story let's check it out the serpent strikes and that's from the cover this is the feature story right and again brown and gnats it's a cool cover is the pose identical to the cover pretty much look at that the pose are pretty much identical to the cover if not exactly the same right See the two fingers in her eyes, her eyes between the two. What would that be? Right fingers, right? Let's see if that's the case. And that uh, snake has the tongue out. Yeah, it's got to be exactly the same image, but that was just used uh, for the cover, right? Cool. Cool. Let's read what it says here. To lovely Anne with Wyndham, Ted Redding's marriage to the exotic jungle born Lyra. Lyra brought nightmares of snakes as well as heartbreak. Anne thought the answer lay in modern psychiatry, psycho psychiatry, but Dr. Jonathan Weir, the wearer, wearer of the purple claw knew definitely voodoo and black magic had brought the reptiles wreathing clawing through Anne's tormented nights lots of w's in this reading <laughs> we're wearing let's check it out let's check it out it was wonderful of you to come here with me this weekend dr weir i'm enjoying myself thoroughly so far and the reddings uh 
the country home is a lovely place I know you think I'm being silly everyone else does because you dream of snakes no I, dreams can be many things rarely are they silly those are two people talking in the back there That's Dr. Weir and uh, Anne right there. They're the two talking, right, coming out the door. And these are the other two people there. Let's check it out. Hey, you two. Too lazy to join us? Perhaps Anne was too busy talking about snakes to the so nice and sympathetic dr weir to think about us she says lira that's not fair so maybe then you try to make ted jealous with your foolish fantasies girls will be girls dr weir you know how it is guess we'd all we'd all better get dressed for dinner see you later she says I've tried to be friends with Lyra. Ted's folks don't like her. You see, they never come here anymore. And Lyra, knowing that, resents you because you were the parent's choice for Ted's wife. I can never come here again, but for Ted's sake, I won't leave until the weekend's over. I'm going in to change now. How about you? In a moment, and Weir says. That's a nice pool. It's got a diving board. I'm looking for Anne, Dr. Weir. Ted insists I apologize to her. But have you have you lost anything? He's looking at the ground again. Not a thing, Lyra. Think I'll take a quick dive. Oh, she's upset. Weir had been truthful. He hadn't lost anything. But what he didn't say was that he had found something. The loathsome smear of snakes by the side of the pool. snakes in the next page anyway here comes the glove again late that night a hysterical cry from Anne's room awakens Weir I'm not having foolish fantasies there was a snake in here a huge dreadful hooded thing she says the same loathsome smear I saw by the pool here on the floor of the balcony where is looking on the ground and it's like totally passed out I don't understand these nightmares and always was so subtle so sensible Disappointed in love can disappointment in love can do strange things, Ted. Imagine it. Oh, look at this. He's putting on the purple glove. And this time it's on the right hand. I couldn't tell Ted that I suspect that it's not disappointment in love, but the greater fear of losing it, that is causing Anne's nightmares it's time now for the purple claw to act oh look at that is that a cobra the purple claw knew 
that danger was near. Bam, he's fist fighting with the snake. Zapping it with his claw as well, eh? Look at that, he's got the hold of it. The other guy's waking up. The sharp, sudden glare of the floodlights blinded Weir long enough for the venomous reptile to flee. F free itself oh there he goes look at he's huge look at that gigantic oh. what is it what ha what has happened nothing and go back to bed they say look at that they're right below You were right, Ted. Not to frighten Anne. She mustn't know I've proven her dreams of snakes. No nightmare, but the truth. The next day, Lyra, darling, you slept through a thrilling night, he says. Did I? I'm afraid I slept very soundly, Leah, Lyra says. I'm sorry I missed all the excitement, but it's just as well. I think I'm catching, catching cold. My throat is so raw, I can hardly swallow. Oh, that's when... Uh, Dr. Weir, here, look at that, grabbed her, grabbed the snake's throat, right? Oh, maybe, 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 yeah, look at that, we're about to find out. Sorry, I jumped the gun, I got excited. I'll be glad to examine your throat and prescribe a remedy for you. Oh, no, thank you, I'll be all right, she says. darling your hand feels so cold and clammy why don't you let weir examine you after all he is a doctor yes lira why not what are you all trying to do let me let go of me she says lira sweetheart we only want to help you. Please be reasonable, she's the husband says. Don't you dare touch me, Lyra says. Why, Lyra? One would think you had something to hide. You haven't, have you? Weir says. Fool, you shall die for this. There's his hand marks right there, right on the throat. I've made a bitter enemy of Lyra, for she knows now that I know the truth. She is a Fisili, one of the snake clan of ancient Africa. <laughs> All that day, from breakfast to dinner, Lyra had kept to her room. Darling, I brought you something to eat. Lyra, where are you? A snake there Ay! oh did she bite him oh it looks like it looks like she bites him on the neck even oh poor guy 
He didn't know what was going on. Look, it's Ted. He's been bitten by a snake. Your nightmare came to life, Anne. But attack Ted, not you. And that's what I must find out. Why was Ted bitten, but not Anne? Only the purple claw can give me the answer. Weird things. I've done all I can for him. Now he must be quiet. Let no one enter this room until I return. Above all, Lyra. He's not dead yet. That's cool. I don't understand, but I'll do whatever you say, she says. Oh man, the snake's right there. Lyra. He doesn't look comfortable at all. Look at that. It's just laying there in that position right and the snakes right there that's a cool uh, panel actually Dr. Weir, come quickly. I don't know where Lyra came from, but suddenly she was there and she forced me out of the room. She's all alone with Ted. He's got the glove on and the gloves on the left hand this time. What in the world? I gotta read the history of this purple glove. Stop that. Oh, look at the venomous bite there on the neck stop that I'm sucking the poison out of him to save his life so do this we do this many times in my family oh you're not interested in his life Weir says you want his soul you want to make sure He'll never leave you. Oh, what is this? You think you've won, you and your purple claw, but you haven't. You haven't. You haven't. Soon, Ted and I will be one, truly the same. She says. So she does love him. Looks like it. Dr. Weir, Ted's, Ted's delirious. Oh, what has she done to him? Look at that. He's like in bed, just moving around like frantically. Oh, look at his tongue. Ted has been turned into a where where snake as lyra has herself now the purple claw was the o now the purple claw was the only thing that could have s saved him that could exercise the weird and terrible result of a thousand years of jungle witchcraft and sorcery from his soul Hour after hour, the ordeal went on through inconceivable horror and incredible terror. But Weir did not falter. He knew that the purple claw was his test talisman and his shield. Wow, he's like exercising the were, were snake from the guy. That's trippy. That's cool. Weir snake. Never heard that term. Ted is now. Ted is safe now. No more harm can come to him. Thank heaven, she says. Look at that. Help! Help! The snake shows up again. 
I don't know. Oh, and he grabs him, grabs him, the snake, right? And this looks like to be the same image on the cover, right? Take a look at this. And take a look at that, right? It's the same image. Right? Identical, I bet. He's holding the tail, his legs there. Yeah, it's identical. So they used a couple of the panels from the story to create the cover. Very cool. Very cool. So he grabs her. Oh, look at that. She's in mid transformation. She doesn't look happy. Lyra was a were snake, one of those creatures from the unknown that could change from human to reptile at will. More serpent than human. She wanted to kill you. She wanted to kill you and keep Ted forever bewitched. So did she die? Is she dead? I don't know. I don't know. Let's check it out. No, she's not. She's still sitting there. Let's check it out. And, and, darling, where are you? Here with you forever, forever and ever, sweetheart. Guys, lucky he still gets the girl this one they'll be happy now with Lyra's death oh she did die Lyra's death death a great and strange evil has been lifted from all our lives thanks to the purple claw so she is dead Ta -da. this didn't say the end Usually they have the end written there. That didn't. Cool. That was a good story. Where snake? I don't think I've ever come across a cross a story with a were snake in it. I don't know if that's even a lore uh, part of mythology. I've heard of uh, what do you call it? Uh, Shapeshifter that could change into snakes, but never referred to as a were snake. This is the last story. It's like five pages. Let's read this as well. Cool. Let's take a look. He walks by night. He walks by night. Oh, look at this. He's, uh, what do you call it? Uh, he's uh, either sleepwalking on the ledge. Wow, look at that. A horn, what does that say? A horn honks dimly in the street. Street below, an airplane, dr airplane drones sluggishly overhead. On the roof, the man keeps walking, his bare feet slithering softly towards the edge. Herman sleepwalking again. I got up just in time. Herman, no, no, you'll fall. That must be the wife. Oh, look at this. He's right at the edge. But the man keeps moving forward. One foot is over the edge now. Oh, right there. One foot is over the edge. He walks by night. I stop. She's like, look at that. What the? He's like, what the? Look at that. That's a great panel, right? Look at that. Nice art. The artist for this one is different than the previous two stories previous three stories oh, look at this Herman gasp you almost walked off I caught you just in time you had no right to stop me Ruth what he says had no right to stop you what do you mean 
you would have fallen 16 stories you would have been smashed to death on the pavement look at that they're like on a penthouse but Herman Blake professor of Hindu philosophy at Tollgate University answers his wife only with a blooding silence what do I mean I can't tell you Ruth I'd like to but you're too worldly you wouldn't be sympathetic you'd spoil it he thinks oh he's got some plans look at this the next evening when professor Blake returns from the university Herman there's someone here to see you he's waiting in the parlor is this a purple claw guy no it's not a purple claw I'm dr. Morgan sir your wife called me in she tells me you walk in your sleep that you almost fell off the roof last night my wife had no right to call you sir he says what happened what happened last night requires no medical care and I refuse to discuss it any further good night but Herman you could have been killed his wife pleads oh he's holding his what can I do he'll be killed last night wasn't the first time I caught him up there look at me mrs. Blake look deep into my eyes he says he's about to hypnotize her look at that he's holding her jawbone as well wow that's pretty intimate right there oh what's going on here what's going on here mrs. Blake looks deep into the doctor's eyes the doctor's eyes that burn with greed and hypnotic power you're a beautiful woman mrs. Blake you are much younger than your husband you have everything to live for he says you heard your husband he doesn't want to be cured he's he's a recluse tied up in his studies Hindu philosophy is all he cares about cares for he will walk off the roof roof one night mrs. Blake you can't stop him but you can do something else you can ensure him heavenly you can ensure him heavily totally hypnotizing her She will do what I said she won't remember what I instructed her but she will do what I said and once the professor is dead and she has collected the insurance money and is alone I will come calling again he says where he thinks to himself anyway the next day You won't regret this, Mrs. Blake. You couldn't get a better policy on your husband's life. <laughs> the next day she gets life insurance policy. Dr. Morgan, this is Mrs. Blake. I thought you'd like to know that I got the policy today and it has a double an indemnity clause. Hmm. The hypnosis couldn't have been uh, complete she remembers me telling her about the policy that means she wants her husband to die and she's accepted me as a partner I'm glad you called mrs. Blake I think you were very wise oh that's what this meant I couldn't understand what this meant at first you can insure him heavily not heavily heavily you can insure him heavily 
so basically telling her to go get a huge insurance policy on her on her husband wow 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 meanwhile at the university unaware of how his wife and the doctor are plotting to profit by his death professor herman blake lectures calmly we do not fully understand yoga all we know is that it enables its practitioners to defy almost all the natural laws instructs then one night dr morgan he's walking again he's going out the door towards the roof don't disturb him i'll be right over the doctor says a short time later see there he is the wife points Shh. he's heading for the ledge now let's stand by that uh, cor corner corner we'll get a better view look at that that's a great panel as well both of them he stopped why did he stop we'll wait a few more seconds if he doesn't move forward again i'll push him he won't have to there he goes again he's about to start walking slowly falteringly one foot steps off the ledge but then the cornice is cr cracking i'm falling I... what happened for a brief second their screams slash the night air but then there's a double thud and, and they lie crumpled and silent forever too bad for if they had lived they would have seen the professor's other foot leave the edge oh look at this he's walking on air i can do it i can do it i knew if i practiced yoga long enough i mastered the art of walking on air i'm pretty sure yoga practitioners would be extremely surprised i love this if you practice yoga long enough you can walk on air from 1954 right why did the thing crash so this thing broke they were standing there and they fell over i they both died that was surprising crazy ending crazy ending and the professor's walking on air by practicing yoga <laughs> fun what are these guys let's check this out tell me what you want money for I'll help you get it all you need look at that you know, buy all the stuff right or decide to sell all the stuff we've seen these ones before right what the hell <laughs> what is this this one is the trippiest what free while they last 10 hitler heads you gotta be kidding me lest we forget the master villain villain of all time 10 unusual stamps shown evil dictator all different getting harder and harder to obtain hitler times 10 what elder god says that is crazy these are hitler stamps i guess right look at that that is the most insane advertisement we've seen. Deutsches Reich, Deutsches Reich. And they're all, uh, they're all different. Look at that. Stamps. Right. 
those two seem to be the same but they're different a little no they seem to be the same no no the price on them is different what does this say all different getting harder to find mail coupon at once we'll send you this stamp uh, this complete fascinating set of 10 hitler stamps all different getting scarcer all the time yet they are yours free while they last to secure names for our mailing list so to secure names for your their mailing list they're collecting data this is data collection right crazy hitler stamps enticing people to send their names and addresses to get hitler stamps 10 hitler stamps to get into their database wow these valuable stamps stamps come from four different countries including short-lived nations of bohemia moravia germany russia ukraine and russia ostland all sought after supply limited so don't ask for more than one collection free advice on stamp collecting uh, in addition to the free hitler stamps will also include other interesting offers for your ins inspection plus a free copy of our helpful informative how to collect stamps with a stamp collecting company prepared for us by the famous Philat philatelic institute of cambridge it de describes the lure of stamp collecting how and where to get stamps the ho honor code of the stamp collector adventuring with uh, postage stamps etc how to collect stamps hitler stamps crazy super cool nice that was a good read the claw the purple claw and we've seen these ones before too I'll give you a watch, air rifle, uke, camera, or any of the 70 big prizes. What does this say? Gene, see this ad of the American seed company? It's as easy, it's an easy way to get that camera I want. Let's send a coupon today. I know lots of people who plant seeds. Yes, Bobby. We need garden seeds. I'll buy six packs. Oh, nice. So there, he's uh, she's selling seeds to homeowners. It was fun and easy to sell our seeds, and here's the mailman with our prize. This is a neat camera. Why don't you f fellow send the coupon today? You can choose from seventy swell prizes. Seventy swell prizes fun that was good the purple claw gotta look into the history of the purple claw right and that's tales of horror number 10 uh, that came out in 1954 and definitely i would just grade this as a as a two 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 point five i would say right uh, but fantastic i hope you enjoyed the reading i'm gonna turn the chat the notifications of my camera back on and and where is the camera there it is fun read fun read it, it had a couple of surprises for me it had a couple of surprises for me i want those hitler stamps oh my god says just for the novelty value yeah i wonder if they're worth anything I mean, would they worth any be anything right now garden scenes i mean what are they the garden scenes yeah what are the seeds <laughs> what did they just buy right and what we're gonna do i'm just gonna write down what the grade and stuff was on this right so i would give this 2.0 to 2.5 um, and that's it covers intact and whatnot that's good enough description for me okay fantastic super fun super fun all my interactions now a bit storms chicho thanks for holding the corners back 
that was upsetting yeah I, ch I corrected as many as, as uh, uh, many of them as I could right just clear them up and I do that with uh, older comics uh, that I have when I read them if things are folded I try to straighten out stuff right might as well why not uh, it is you know for presentation as well for myself lark thank you chicho love your comic book collection yeah me too man it, it really it and as you can tell uh for me uh it's if i want something i don't chase just slab books i only have like i don't know like maybe 10 graded books now most of my collection by long shot is all raw comic books because i like to flip through them i like to read them i like to hold them i like to smell them right just a, like even this had a old school aroma to it right like there's a sense of your reading history and uh, you know so great to me is is sort of relative right great cover a great cover art beautiful cover art there's a lot of politics discussion going on so that was fun i don't know how long we've been up oh we're up almost four minutes to two hours we did good timing on this awesome gang so gang um this was i don't know what stream this was in a row that we've done uh tomorrow i haven't scheduled anything i have a lot of things to do around the house that i need to take care of but if i get a chance i might do another reading tomorrow unscheduled reading and don't hold your breath please this is at best like 20 percent chance that we might do one we might not okay uh, yeah elder god i can bet you went to a rally in the uk and that would have got your blood boiling right so that's okay we did a comic book reading you let loose a little bit that's fine man i'm okay with that uh the chat wasn't coming on to the onto the reading and uh, people could enjoy the reading after the video has been uploaded to bit shooting youtube right uh bitstorm i re i don't really collect much but i do have some older games in good condition i'm wondering if i should bag them up like they do with comics it depends i think there's huge um a gaming community out there what i would do is bitstorm is check online to see you know if they're extremely rare like there are some games and some comics that are very very expensive like for video games there's one video game i forgot the name of the video game that just the box alone without even the game the box alone was selling at for ten thousand dollars like six years ago so i would check the prices man i would check the prices and then make your decisions accordingly right uh, the three stooges how are you doing as a kid i walk into a mexican liquor store i see what looked to be a comic book turn turn turned out to be an adult okay, yeah lots of adult comic books out there lockdown 5th of november to december 3rd oh man elder god remember remember the 5th of november what a time to pick it right uh bitstorm at the moment they are just get thrown into boxes but even the newer stuff like ps2 the thin plastic box covers get uh, micro scratches yeah and i've done that too it is what it is right but i would check the prices brother i would seriously check the prices and if you want to preserve them just put them in a box in a nice you know maybe put something between them uh, for me i just put the stuff in boxes i didn't my main thing is a comic book collecting the other ones are just you know a little bit of gravy and fun historical artifacts and stuff that i have right that i cherish right gang let's call the stream uh maybe a stream tomorrow 10 percent chance 20 percent chance but on monday and tuesday we're doing julian assange streams we're gonna get caught up we're gonna read articles and we're gonna watch videos interviews and stuff that's our main thing we're gonna do tomorrow uh, not tomorrow monday and tuesday okay we're on a mass burning party at the pub before lockdown oh wow elder god Whew, that would be actually fun to do that would be a fun gathering to get to and then in iran there's something called charsham basuri where the you build fires and you jump over the fire and you say uh it's the same you say zardiaman uh zard zardiaman beto 
Great Mr. Tobin, man, something like this. It means my fears to you and your strength to me. Uh, something fun to do. And then uh, what we'll do, gang, I'm going to spend the next week sort of uploading the videos. Uh, you know the custom allegory, yeah. We'll upload the videos on uh, on YouTube and BitChute in the next week or so. And uh, I'll do some back-end stuff. And uh, if you have something that you really want to do a live stream on, go to our Discord page and post what you would like us to cover in the next set of streams that we're going to announce for sure we're going to do comic book stream for sure we're going to do uh, current events stream um and this week while i'm uploading videos i'm waiting for a couple of comic book halls to come here if they come i'm going to do on an unscheduled comic book hall uh streams as well okay see you chicho and watch out for the ghouls up there in halloween indeed <laughs> I'm familiar with many uh, fear purging rituals. Yeah, fear purging rituals are very, very important. Gang, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed the reading. And if you want to know what this is about, I'm on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to follow this work, if you want to know what this is all about, Patreon is a fantastic way to do so. I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything's creative commons. Share and share alike okay you can follow the work and after a while if you think this work is worth supporting through funds patreon is the best way to do it and gang for those of you that are supporting through patreon thank you very much for your support we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in that chat twitch is where you want to be at okay and gang thank you for the follows thank you for the uh conversations thank you for the subscriptions thank you for being here in mods thank you for taking care of business and indeed happy halloween gang i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on lo minds vk part of gap twitter and you can follow the work there and again we have a discord page and it's active to a nice level where you can share information if you want and all the links will be in the description of this video for live streams when we don't have any visuals involved we do record on a lapel mic and upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho as podcast and it should be available on your favorite podcasting platform and at some point uh i'm gonna get caught up in loading up all the previous audio uh files that we have right and we will be uploading this video to both bitshoot and youtube and if you want to support this work through bitshoot and youtube you can follow you can subscribe you can share you can like you can uh, comment and if you're on youtube you can join youtube membership and for those of you who've joined youtube membership thank you very much for joining youtube membership and for the support gang i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend fantastic saturday if i don't see you tomorrow fantastic sunday and for sure we'll be here monday and tuesday to get caught up on the julian assange case okay we're going to read and read articles and watch interviews and talk about what's taking place gang i'll see you guys in the next stream bye everyone free julian assange indeed elder god